Anukam. Yo, yo, yo. What's going on, everybody? How you doing? You know who this is. The real one. Always 100. Gabriel Skywalker from the DFS Club. Coming to you with the MLB main slate video. Last two slates have been really high scoring. Really high. But uh, you guys watched yesterday's video. You should have done really well. Should have cashed. I got a 190 on one of my lines in FanDuel and still didn't cash. <laughs> that was a GPP. So... Crazy day. Um, let's see how we did. So NBA was a great day for NBA for the whole club. We all, my uh, DFS space, myself, the members, we all cashed very nicely. Two out of my three lineups I dropped in the chat cashed. 305 and a 302. Thanks to Aaron Holiday's bum ass. Otherwise, we'd be taken down. And I almost had a takedown, guys. Almost. Came in fourth in this one. So that that close, that close. Another takedown would have been nice. And then my uh whew, wife's cooking. Man, had some stir fry. I think that's what it was. That's what she says it was. I don't ask, I just eat it. Um FanDuel got a 212. And let me tell you, the the 212 barely crossed the finish line. <laughs> it's been uh crazy and it's just gonna get crazier because on this slate, we have a Coors Field slate with uh, the Houston Astros. We'll be in Coors. So no more of these bum-ass teams going to be there. Um, but we're all going to get through it. We're going to find this edge. And we're going to cash like we always freaking do. So let's go. I read each and every one of your comments, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the views, the comments, the feedback. I mean, it's just my channel's just blowing up like crazy and i appreciate each and every one of you thank you from the bottom of my heart you want these lineups guys you want you want this uh great community www.dfsclub.com you got dfs space you got myself skywalker dfs you got the dfs whispers kbo mlb nba nfl next month nfl it's already almost here um tennis nascar soccer esports mma wmba Click the join now button. Make sure you click my logo, Skywalker DFS. And pick your plans, guys. We are the cheapest in the industry. Not only do we win the most, we have the most fun. We have three providers in one. What more do you want? My goodness. I'm just so proud of this community, guys. The DFS club. Trust me. They all know who we are now. We've been around for one year. This is our one-year anniversary. So happy anniversary to the club. And come get it, guys. Come join. We'd love to have you. All right. So let's go to position optimizer. So this is going to be a tough one, especially for cash games. I think you guys are just better off playing just GBPs tomorrow. Don't even mess with cash games because it's going to be one of those slates where the cash line is going to be higher than the GBP line to cash. I just know. It's just how it's going to be. So, but with that said, we have great pitching on the slate. The studs are in, right? The the P1s are in. But again, this course field. So, we have starting off here, we got Jacob DeGrom at 11 8 going up against Miami. A great matchup. Um, doesn't get much greater, pretty much. They're ranked 29th against pitchers, so almost the worst. So, it's a hell of a matchup for DeGrom, guys. It's going to be hard to get away from him. Lifetime and 88 at-bats. They are batting 284, which kind of bothers me a little bit. They're almost batting 300 against him. Um, but I went through the, the lineups, and I didn't really see anybody with an edge on him, let alone I didn't see any player on the Marlins that even had a home run against him. So, But I don't know. Jacob DeGrom in 11-8 is on play. And then you got Garrett the coal mine. Garrett Cole. So like I said, he starts off slow. Now unleash the beast. Unleash the Kraken. Garrett Cole got a 31 last game. Going up against Tampa Bay. Um, Tampa Bay is not bad. But, you know, they're not good. They're not good. They're inconsistent. Garrett Cole's just going to just kill it from here on in, guys. This is what he does. Starts out slow at that point, and then he just, that's just what he does. Um, last time against Tampa Bay, 20, 38 fantasy points. Um, if I had to pick between the two, 
DeGrom has the better uh, matchup, probably the better strikeout upside because Miami strikes out a ton, but so does Tampa Bay. And the price points, it's only $800 different, so I think either one, you're, you're, you're sitting pretty good. Just flip a coin, like I always say. Next up, I like Lance Lynn. Now, I know San Diego's red hot right now. Their offense is red hot. Tatis. <clears throat> Tatis, sorry, there's a freaking fire nearby. And, uh, yeah, it sucks breathing that shit in. Um, Tatis, right? Ball three, he swings at 3-0. and <laughs> It hits a grand slam. I love it, dude. I love it. God. So, to follow up with that, so Lance Lynn's been no joke. You don't, I just, the only one that worries me in this lineup is Tatis. 9-2, they strike out a ton, being San Diego, well, so does Texas, but that's besides the point. Lights out. 36, 19, 23, 28, 32, his last five appearances, guys. 9-2 Lance Lynn, if you don't want to pay up up here, you can definitely start right here, and I think it'll be just fine. So get him in there. Next up, I kind of like Merrill Kelly here coming off a solid start, going up against my Oakland Athletics, who just aren't up to par lately. Um, got a 30 before last game and then a 20 before that. I believe Merrill, Carey, Merrill Kelly had a uh, no-hitter or a perfect game going into, like, the sixth last outing. But, yeah. 9-5, five, five, you can also go here. There's just so many options to go to. I think Merrill Kelly at this price point will be the lowest owned. I think a lot of people are going to go Lynn, DeGrom, Cole, right? Um, now, this one right here kind of makes me laugh, but I want to do it. I'm going to, and I'm going to do it. It's Dane Dunning, guys. I know. Who? He's only four or five. Four or five, that's less than most batters on the slate. So for Dane Dunning, to achieve that four or five price tag, he just needs to get five or more fantasy points. That's it. I think he can do it against Detroit. I think he can do it. So I'm going to have some shares of D Dane Dunning. Sound like a goddamn character out of Boogie Nights. Four or five, guys. That is incredible. Incredible pricing. And then Johnny Cuerto, too, against the Angels at five, six. I might do a scrubs pitching. I know I'm going to do it. I always do because that's what I did with my takedown lineup. Puerto is only 5-6 against the Angels. They're acting like the Angels here are the freaking Yankees. I'll, I'll take the shot at 5-6. He's only got to get, what, 10, 15 fantasy points to pay off that price tag? Easy. Easy money right here. Johnny Puerto against the Angels? Yeah. But, yeah, don't pass up on Dunning and GPPs, guys. Get them in there. Vandal, don't, because you only can pitch one pitcher. Vandal's going to be a lot harder. We don't take chances like that, only on draft teams. All right. So let's go to first base. Dane Dunning. Sound like Dirk Diggler. All right, so top option here is Yuli Gurriel. So, listen, here's what we're going to do with Forceville. We're going to pick and choose. We're not just going to play every Astro because they're at Force Field. We're going to stick with how they've been doing this season because it's not like they're reborn again just because they go there. It's still the same person. Yuli Gurriel, 5'8". Nah, I ain't paying that price. No. Freddie Freeman, on the other hand, is a good contrary option at 5'3". Going up versus Fede. Fede, Fede. He's a righty. Freddie Freeman crushes righties. And if you haven't noticed, Atlanta's been scoring a ton of runs lately. One for two, lifetime, one single. Freddie Freeman, get him in there. Next up, Dominic Smith again, guys. I love the price. I cannot get over the price. Dude's been doing damage. And he's going up against the righty. OPS versus righties, over 1,000. This Mets have got a good matchup against a weak pitcher, too. So, Lopez, get some Dominic Smith in your life and get him in your lineup. And what do we say? Get him in there. All right, next up is Jesus Aguilar, 3-6. Sorry, 3-9. He's only 3-9. My God. He's going up against a righty. Crushes right now. Here's what I'm talking about. DeGrom does have some weaknesses. And one of his kryptonite keys here is, after I said I didn't see anyone, yeah, he does have a homer off him. 
is Jesus Aguilar. Three for six, lifetime. That's a 500 batting average against the Grom. One single, one double, one home run. The only thing is, he's a little bit older now. So, reflexes aren't as fast. But, worth a shot at 3-9, I think he'll be very, very low on. Um, but, yeah, I digress. One HR, so DeGrom has given up a home run to a, a Marlin here. So, get him in there at 3-9 if you want to be get some low ownership on that. Next up, Miguel Sanu's only 4-3. And this Minnesota offense has been pissing me off because they're not scoring any runs. They're like the Dodgers, 2.0. But against Anderson, he's 2 for 3, batting 667. One double, one home run. So out of two out of three were extra base hits. One double, one home run. Miguel Sanu, get him in there. All right, next up, G-Man Choi. Another one, but he has a home run against Cole, not DeGrom. So, Kryptonite to Cole is G-Man Choi. He's four, excuse me, six for 13, batting 462 lifetime. Two double, two singles, three doubles, one home run. And G-Man Choi is only 3.4, guys. I think it's worth a shot. I think if Cole has Kryptonite right now, it's G-Man Choi. Get him in there at 3-4. And then after being no, almost being no hit tonight, Milwaukee, um, you have the gyro. I call him Jed Gyro. He's 3-4. Going up versus King of the Hill. He's 2-4 for four lifetime, two singles. I mean, these, these value bats guys are going to be the key if you want to get these course field guys in. Those value pitchers and these value bats. So when you roster these, these players, you want double-digit fantasy points out of every single one. That's the goal. Let's go to second base. How about the Dodgers, man? They went and got everyone in the old prison pocket, you know, in the old brown starfish again with their two runs. Good night. Wait, how's Uncle Sai? He says, good night. Ah, that's just horrible. Again, I like, uh, we're going to go to second base here. Again, I like Luis Gilmore, especially on this late. He's 2-2. He's scheduled about fifth. Why not? The Mets are going up against a four pitcher, and his OPS versus righties is 900. So at 2-2, he just needs to get hit by a pitch, and he crushes that price tag. So get yourself some gear more. I call him Happy Gilmore at 2-2. And let's go. Let's go. Altuve, no. I sure as hell ain't going to pay 6-1. For a guy who has zero, zero, three, five, two. They must be thinking of Altuve last year. I don't know. But there ain't no way in hell. I advise you not to do that. 6-1. Get out of here. Get out of here. Kidding me with that. Next up, Cesar Hernandez. 4-4. Four, four. Going up against Brault. He's 5-14 for 14 lifetime. That's batting 357. Four singles, one double. Um, I always like Cleveland. I don't know why, except for today. They didn't, you know, it is what it is, but I didn't do bad today, so I can't complain. Cesar Hernandez, 4-4, normally always leads off. Get him in there, guys. Next up, my man, Jonathan, shoots right in. Just like I told you in yesterday's video, he shooped right in and got us a home run today. He's in another great spot, 4K. Price is right. You guys remember he was like 2-9 at the beginning of the season? Going up versus Dunning. 2 for 4. 500 batting average. One single, one home run. So, worth a shot here. I mean, if you guys want to go against Dun my boy Dunning there at, at, what is he, 4 point whatever, and do a Detroit stack, I wouldn't blame you. Because there is a shot they might light his ass up. But then they'll just bring in relievers, so... Pick and choose wisely if you're going to do a Detroit stack. But if you are, you better have Shoop in there. Or what are you doing? All right? Let's go to third base. All right. So Alex Bregman, I guess. I guess. 6-2. If I'm going to pay up for a course field slate, you guys hear that? Did you guys hear that? He's here. He, he woke up. He heard. This is Schroeder Skywalker, guys. So if you're new to the, to the channel, first of all, 
hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. I do NBA, MLB, MMA. If there's something out there, I'll do the damn videos if there's a demand for it. And you get Schroeder here. Schroeder, we have a segment called Schroeder's Picks where he picks his three home run calls. And if you guys have been watching my videos for the last week, you know it doesn't get any better than Schroeder. Schroeder calls him as he sees him, and he's been on freaking fire lately. Right, Schroeder? Had a boy. He had to come to mind and say hi. He loves you guys. Um, okay, so Schroeder, I was just telling him about Alex Bregman, okay? So he's 6'2". One of, one of the Houston batters that have been doing something this year hasn't looked good as late, as of late. Um, and he's going up against a righty, not a lefty. You know, it's lefties better. But, I mean, you can't completely, I don't think you can completely fade this Coors Field slate. So, Bregman at 6-2, I don't mind it. I mean, it is what it is. Coors Field is a blessing and a curse at the same time, let me tell you. Next up, I got J.D. Davis here at 4K. Mr. Double-Digit Fantasy Points in his last three. Going up versus Lopez. Mario Lopez from Saved by the Bell. Three for five, batting 600 lifetime, three singles, guys. You know, he's good. He's got some power, too. Bat six in this Mets. I'm actually liking a Mets stack today. Just putting it out there. They're going up. They have a great matchup today, and a lot of Mets players are standing out to me. So, J.D. Davis, get him in there at 4K. Next up, speak of the devil, Jeff McNeil, another Mets. 4-2. Against Saved by the Bells, Mario Lopez here. He's 3 for 7. Batting 429 lifetime. One single, one double, one home run. So there's another Met for you. Get yourself some Jeff McNeil at a cheap discounted rate, in my opinion, of 4.2K. And then Austin Riley's interesting. He's only 3 4. One for one lifetime versus Fede. Also like in a small little uh I'm gonna I like definitely like uh the Mets and the Braves. My two stacks I like after going through all the player pool. So Austin Riley is cheap. He's only three four. That's six normally, but you never know. He's going against a righty. He crushes righties. This one in particular, he's one for one, one double. So that stands out to me. 3-4, Austin Riley, get him in there. More of this value you guys are going to need if you're going to stack that Coors game. So let's go to shortstop. I always do a lineup where I completely um, fade Coors Field. Okay, because if Coors Field's a bust, you're already way ahead of everybody else. Um, so with that said, at shortstop Trevor Story, it's story time. That's cheap for Trevor Story. He's, he's cheaper than Bregman. Going up for, against a lefty too, so if I had to pick a, a pay up between those two, I'm going to I'm going Trevor Story. Going up against a lefty, he's only five four. At second, gets stolen bases, home runs, you name it, triples, doubles. It's story time. Get him in there at five four. That's that's course field value, way underpriced, way underpriced. Next up, Corey Seager from then Dodgers. Yeah, I know. 5K. But he's been doing good. 10, 25, 21 in his last three. He gets a choice matchup against Walker, Texas Ranger. Who's a righty? Always play Corey Seager versus righties. Especially this one. He's 4 for 10. 400 batting average. Three singles. One home run. Corey Seager. Get him in there. Next up, red hot Tim Anderson. Man, I should have played him again today. The club was saying... Are we off of Anderson today? And I had second thoughts. I'm like, I don't know. Should we? It's, we did okay anyway, but Tim Anderson's just been doing crazy stuff. Crazy good stuff. He's only 4'7". These are nice contrarian plays. Of course, Field. Um, it's a choice matchup, you know. And, like I said, he's just been crushing the ball. He gets stolen bases like nothing. And home runs. He had two home runs the other day in one game. So, Tim Anderson... Get him in there. Next up, I like Dansbury Swanson steak. Throw it in the microwave for about three and a half minutes. You got to poke holes in the film over. Put it in the microwave. You got Dansbury Swansberry steak against Fede. He's one for one, 
one single, and he's only 4 4. Don't worry about second, first or second, normally. So get yourself some Swansbury Steak at 4 4. Another Atlanta Brave I like. Let's see. Trey Turner. Washington's waking up. I like the offense. You get Trey Turner under 5K at any time, guys. I always play him. Um, going up versus right. When you're right, you're right. When you're wrong, you're wrong. Trey Turner. Get him in there at 4-9, guys, before he gets up to about 5-4. You guys hear that? You guys hear that? All right. You, you, you're always welcome. That was just the remote control that fell. You're all good. All right. Get comfortable, okay? All right. He's going to help out. We got our boy right here, Schroeder. Tatis. You guys seen that video? Check it out. There's a 3-0 count on him. Normally, it's an unwritten rule in baseball. 3-0 count. You're up by seven runs. Late in the game, you just let the fastball go right down the middle for the strike. Tatis said, eh, eh. Took a sweet swing. Drove it out of the park for the grand slam. Because that's what he gets paid to do. He gets paid to hit baseballs. He was doing his job. The only thing he shouldn't have done is apologize. He should not have apologized. But that coach, you know, on that team, lost. I lost respect for him. You got to you gotta back your players. He went out there and apologized for Tatis's actions in the press conference. I'm like, what a fucking loser you are. It's your player. You're supposed to have his back. He gets paid to hit home runs, all right? It's, this ain't charity. This is Major League Baseball. That's my Tatis rant, guys. Let me know what you think. He's only 4'8". This man should always be over 5K. I don't know why he's got him so low. But get him in there. I don't give a damn who's pitching against him. Um, next up, Orlando Arcia. Bear Mill, 2'6". Um... Two for four versus King of the Hill. Two singles. And facing a lefty, he crushes lefty. So another value player, right? If you want to get these course field bats in, you come to the right place. And I got you with Arcia here. Two six. Get him in there. All right. So let's go to outfield. There we go. All right. So Mookie Betts is the top option at 6-2. Mookie Betts has a great matchup. It's not just because it's Mookie Betts. I don't do that. He's going up against a righty, number one. Number two, Walker, Texas Ranger. He's two for three against him at 667. A nice contrarian play again. Instead of Coors, you can play Mookie Betts at 62. Marcelo Zuna, another Atlanta Brave, the third one. 4-4. Four, four. Going up against Fede. Two for three, batting 667. So in two at-bats, Mr. Ozuna has two home runs. Get him in there. All right, 4-4, four, four, that's good value. Get him in there. We're going to talk about Dominic Smith. It's almost time for Schroeder's pick, Schroeder. We're getting there. We're getting He's so impatient. I know. Um, Charlie Blackman, okay, 5'8", under 6K. I love it. Don't mind it. Going up against a lefty, I love it. Charlie Blackman at 5'8". Get him in there. So that's two Colorado Rockies, Rockies I liked, and then so far just one Houston Astro. Next up, Christian Yellick, 5K, versus King of the Hill, 3 for 12. But Yellick is going up against a lefty. Whenever he's going up against a lefty, he's dangerous. He crushes lefties. He's worth a look at 5K. A look, maybe a peep. All right, another Atlanta Brave I like. Adam Duvall. Sound like a goddamn Oscar award winning actor here. 3 7. Duvall has a great matchup versus Fede. Two for three, one single, one home run. Should be leading off. So get him in there at 3 7, guys. These Atlanta guys are cheap. So these particular ones, if you're going to stack them, I've already given you them, so you know what to do. Plug them in and get that bread. So Adam Duvall at 3.7, get him in there. Sorry, guys, I don't have all these charts and graphs, and I don't want to put you to sleep with that shit. You know what I mean? 
for some it's great. They see all these charts and these graphs and these wobas and you know it's great for some people. But the majority of us are just like, tell me who to play and why, and that's it. That's all I need to know, right? So these are my videos. This is what I do. If you're more of a pie graph or graphs and all that shit, I don't do that, guys. I don't want to put everybody to sleep. All right, next up, another Dodger, Jock Peterson. Can you can you hear the enthusiasm in my voice? Good matchup, going up against a righty. Now against Walker, Texas Ranger, he's six for twelve. That's a five hundred batting average. Four singles, two doubles. Worth a look at four three, but I'm not excited about it, as you can tell. Uh, next up, Domingo Santana at three six. Long lost relative of former WWE star Tito Santana. No, he's not. I'm just, you know, being fun. Um, against Brault, he's four for 10 lifetime. That's a 400 batting average, but not just that, guys. Out of those four hits, two doubles, two home runs. 3 6. Get him in there. All right. There's nothing but value. We got value up, up the yin yang here, and that's going to do it. So I gave you my cores calls. So I told you the players to play from cores that are in good spots. Atlanta, I like that stack a lot. A lot. You guys saw how many Atlanta players I covered. So you guys should be good to go. But with that said, it's time for your favorite part of the video and mine. It's time for Schroeder's picks. That's you heard him, he knows. Come on. Let's go. So Schroeder's going to give us his three home run calls. First two are home run, one home runs. Then his third pick is going to be who's going to get us two home runs. All right, Schroeder, let's go. Time for Schroeder's picks. Let me grab this little rascal. And just like that, like magic, he appears out of magic. Schroeder is more. Schroeder is magic. This mere vessel is just a vessel. Schroeder's spirit. Schroeder's spirits. This actually goes all the way back to 777 AD. His former vessel is none other than Andre the Giant. That's right. Look at him. That's right. We have fun, guys. We're having fun. If you guys watch um, Broken Matt Hardy, you get the joke. All right, Shona, so who's your first homer call? You're awfully, awfully talkative tonight. Who do you got for your first one? Go ahead. Take a look. Ooh, you're zoned in there. Oh, okay. Who's your first pick? Oh, all right. You guys heard that? Schroeder's first pick is none other. You sure about that? I think he's sure about it. <laughs> it's none other than Marcel Ozuna. Ozuna is his first pick. All right, buddy. That's a good one. One of our Atlanta stack. All right, Schroeder. So who's going to get the second home run? Who do you got? Okay. Oh, really? Oh, wonderful. Brilliant, Schroeder. Brilliant. So Schroeder's second pick, Alex Bregman. All right. I, I can dig it. So Schroeder, who's going to do it? Who's going to break the slate and get us these two home runs? Who do you got? Whoa, that was quick. He already knew. He already knew just like that. So Schroeder's Two home run call pick is none other than Tatis. So that's going to do it for Schroeder's picks, guys. Don't forget, come join the family, www.dfsclub.com. Stop missing out. I'd love to have all of you in here. I want to get to 1,000 members by um, next month. Completely taken over, but... I just want to grow this community to make everybody better DFS players. You get the lineups, guys. You get 24-7 tips and advice. I mean, come, just come join us. I'd love to have you. I can't stress that enough. And since you waited to the end of the video, in today's contest, we're going to do the drawing. We've been doing it all week. So those of you that stayed till the end, I know who you are because you responded in the comments below. We're going to do it again. So every time you make a comment in every video that I do, that's an extra chance for you to win $25 PayPal 
sponsored by myself, Skywalker DFS, and we'll do the drawing on Saturday night. All right. So all you have to do to qualify, hit that subscribe button, thumbs up or thumbs down, either one is fine. And in the comments below, who is your favorite? I mean, let me put it to you this way. Who is your favorite course field bat tomorrow? Who is your favorite course field bat? Put it in the comments below. And let's take a tally. We'll see how many, uh, who gets the most votes, and maybe we'll all throw them in a lineup. And then you are entered into that, that drawing for $25 PayPal. And as the channel grows, as the, the club grows, these giveaways are just going to grow too. Just because I can't do this without you guys. It's just my way of saying thank you. And it's fun. It's always fun to have contests. So that's all you got to do. And you're in. Again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm going to study up a little bit more for my NBA video. And I'm going to get that out to you guys tonight. Um, and let's do it. So let's say our prayer. God bless you. God bless your friends. God bless your family. God bless your pets. God bless your neighbors if you like them. Where we go one, we go all. Let's get this bread. Don't take shit from nobody. Schroeder and I are out. I love you. Take care, guys. Good luck.